students today we can discuss about the topic overflow handling in data structure what is mean overflow overflow is when occur the overflow occurs in the any table we can uh, identify we can occupy the more than one value in a same position for example this is an any table for position 0 we can uh, already occupied one value again the same value again the same position the another value will be occupied something uh, anything value that is the overflow the overflow is also called the collision resolution to avoid or handle the overflows we can use the two methods one is the open addressing and another one is the chaining methods what is the open addressing open addressing means we can use the hash table to fill the data we can identify if the bucket is, is full or not by using the hash table okay these are the three types of uh, three types here one is the linear probing another is a quadric probing next is the rehashing methods first next one is the chaining the chaining means uh, we can uh, keep the elements keep your elements in a list pair okay list pair if a same portion is occupied it will be in the list pair more than one values are there in the to the link list uh, to uh, to enter the same values using the same address to using the same bar address we can insert the more than one value using the link list and that's types of colors and separate uh, first we can discussing about the open addressing open addressing the open addressing first one is the first one is the linear probing linear probing is also known as the linear open addressing it can search the element one by one by through the bucket if one bucket is full the value is inserted to the another bucket is the uh, procedure for the linear probing if the values are transferred to the next location so once the value is entered in the position another position is empty we can enter this another value it's the formula is the hash of uh, h of k that means the hash of k plus j uh, more or less this is the more or less and then d uh, d is the number of buckets number of buckets means size of the table and then bucket address equal to key more or less and then bucket for example uh, i use the bucket size is uh, 10 10 means the bucket size is 0 to 9 and then the key values are the these are the key values uh, the formula is what key more or less and then bucket what is the key these are the keys first the first key is the 12 and then modulus the bucket value is 10 okay what is the modular modulus means what the remainder value is the modulus for example is the 12 division by 10 then uh, 10 and then remainder value is 2 this is the modulus value up then 12 modulus 10 equal to 2 the 2 position is occupied by the 12 value next one is the 15 the 15 is uh, modulus uh, divided by modulus the remainder is 5 the fifth position is occupied by 15 next one is the 32 uh, 32 modulus 10 uh, the position is uh, 2 the through 2 is already occupied 12 yes this one is the already occupied next one is the next position is occupied so we can enter the value to the next position this is a free and then i enter the 32 next is the 41 41 modulus 10 the remainder is 1 the first position is occupied by this value next value is the 53 53 is um, the remainder is 3 okay the three position is already occupied by the 32 next position is free so next position the linear probing means if an uh, any value if an value is already in the bucket value we can put the value to the next locations the next free location here next free location is 4 so i can enter the value 53 or you understood that what is the linear probing next is the quadric probing For quadric probing means is avoid the bad cluster bad cluster means in using the linear probing uh, if any position is free 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 we can enter that this is the blood clusters to using the quadric probing to uh, to avoid the blood clusters in linear probing we can search is done the sequence i plus one that means first position 
this is a free we can put the value is not a free go to the another position it's a free put the value is not free go to another position it goes like that but in the quadratic probing quadratic function used in searching is done the sequence what's the sequence i plus 2 i plus 4 i plus 6 this is the sequence okay the probe sequence is h of k is a mod size another is a h of k plus 1 h of k plus 4 h of k plus 9 that means 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, another goes to 4 square, 5 square goes to up to on. For example, this is the key values. Number my bucket size is 10. So, we can enter this 0 to 9. The first is the 40. 40 modulus 10. The value is 0. Modulus value is 0. And I put the position 0 to the value 40. Next one is the 32. 32 is value, modulus value. 32 modulus 10. Okay. This is a bucket value. You can bucket value to the modulus. Okay. My bucket value is 10. I use the 10. Okay. It's the remaining value 2. That's the 32 in the second position. Next 43. The remaining value is 3. So it is in third position. Next is a 5. The remaining value is a uh, 65. Next one is a 62. The remaining is 2. The 2 is already in the 32. In a quadratic probing, we can use the formula this one use this this is the collision okay next we use the h of k plus 1 mod size h of k means 62 key values and apply at the 1 63 63 modulo 10 the remainder is 3 the 3 is already occupied this is also a collision we can use the next formula next formula is h of k uh, h of k plus 4 okay then my key value is 62 plus 4 is 66. Uh, 66 modulus 10. The value is the 6. The 6th position is empty. We can enter the value 62 in the 6th position. This is, pro this is for the quadric probing. The, I think you are understood clearly. Uh, next is the rehashing. Rehashing. Rehashing means is a technique. Is a one of the technique. We can resize the table. Okay. We can resize the table. Means double the size of the table. Uh, and then we can select the prime number as the table size. We can select only for the prime number as the table size. Uh, that means a new table. But the new table is it's double the size of the whole table. When the rehashing is occur. When uh, the value is in. For example we can use the linear problem. Uh, okay, this example we can use them. Uh, this example is clearly understood. Uh, my key values is this, and then my size bucket size is 5. So I can the 0 to 4. Uh, first, uh, 11. 11, my size is 5. 11 modulus 5, that value is 1. One position I entered the 11. Next is 12. 12 division by 10, 2 value, and then I entered the 14. Next, 14. Sorry, I entered the 12. Next, 14 division by 5. The modulus value is 4. So, I entered the 14. Next, 15. 15 modulus 5. The value equal to 0. The 0, the zero position, I entered the value 15. Next, 10. Uh, 10 is division by 5 equal to 0. Uh, look at this example. Only one position are there. Almost 90% are filled. If, if, if a value is 0. For the linear problem, the value is 0. Uh, is already filled. I move to the next position. The value is 1. It's already filtered. I move to the next position. It's already filtered. Then uh, there are so many collisions are occur. Okay. This is a one of the collision. This is a one of the collision. This is a one of the collision. There are so many collisions are occurs. That time you we need the rehashing technique. Okay. Okay. In the rehashing technique, what's this uh, our table size i use the example my our table size is 5 okay rehashing means the table is the double the size okay double the size of the whole table here i use the table size 5 double size means 10 okay and double the size is 10 but what's the formula for what's the condition in using the rehashing rehashing the rehashing is using double the size with prime number okay 10 is not the prime number. So, you can choose the nearest prime number. I use the 11. Okay. 11 is the prime number. But it uh, it also the double the size of the 
table if it's a 5 it's also double the size of the table oh i have so i take the 11 okay 11 means our bucket says 0 to 10 okay this is our example key values but our size is 11 so use the more or less value is 11 11 more or less 11 what 11 more or less 11 is the 0 okay so i put the value in 11 uh, 0 position next 12 12 more or less 11 balance 1 remainder is 1 first position i enter the value 12 next is the 14 first 14 means 3 okay remainder value is 3 so i put the value in 3 position 15 means value is 4 okay i can 4 next is the 10 what's the value of 10 remainder there uh, the 10 is the remainder because 10 is the smaller than 11 okay so we can use that this way don't use this okay not this value this is the this is wrong this is the right okay we can 11 10 modulus 11 means the value is 10. The remainder value is 10. Okay. We can put the value in 10th position. The value is 10. And uh, in the position 10. Okay. It's uh, Are you understood that? What is the rehashing? Okay. Next is the next method. If uh, We can discuss about the. Discuss the open addressing. Next topic is the. Next is the chaining. Chaining. We can use the two methods. Qualized chaining. The collage chaining means the memory is divided into two parts. One is the primary area and then another one is the overflow area. The key values are there and then I take the packet size is equal to 10. Why I take the 10? It is easy to uh, remember the value. So I take 10. You can take any values. Okay. So the, our bucket size is 10. I split the two parts. One is the prime area. Next one is the overflow area. Uh, first one is the 10 10 minus 10 value is equal to 0 so i put the value in 10 next is the 12 12 minus 10 value is 2 second position is 12 next is the 13 3 13 okay next is the 22 22 is the minus of 10 equal to 2 the 10 is already filled okay wow. okay we can overflow the area is already filled the area we can enter the value into the overflow area so is a 12 2 is already filled i put the value to the overflow area 22 i give the link which is the link i enter the value this position this position i enter the value in fifth okay and then the link is 5 number is 5 next is the 16 16 is uh, more or less by 10 equal to 6 i put the value in 16 okay sixth position next one is the 45 45 modulus 10 the remainder is 5 the fifth position is already filled and then again goes to next position is already filled and then again i goes to 45 i uh, i put the value in seventh position but it is in nearest value is fifth position yes is it right so i i put the link is the seventh is then the value is in seventh position this is for the collapsed chaining next is the separate chaining okay next we discuss the separate chaining in separate chaining separate or linked list we use the use linked list to connect the identifiers we use the hash value to the linked list more than one values are connected to see that examples we can clearly understood this is the key key values and then i use the same modus value 10 so we can do 0 to 9 first one is the 50 50 molus 10 equal to 0. So I put the value to the 50 to the 0. Next value is the 63. 63 molus is remainder is 3. I, I, I put the third position. Next is the 82. Value is 2. And then position then uh, put the value in uh, second position. Next value is the 103. Remainder is 3. Okay. Already is in 63. It, it connect to the linked to the next item. Okay. Uh, third position 63 is already in 16 linked list in uh, 103 also the remainder is 3 so we can link the to this position next is the 28 28 remainder is 8 and put the this link this position next was the 120 120 modulus 10 the remainder is 10 uh, sorry remainder is 0 the 0th position already in 50 so i link to the 0th position to 120 and the same procedure when in any values is goes to the links will expand to expanded more than one values are getting the links will be expanded it will be stop 
put the zero values to all the links. Otherwise, and the remaining positions are filled with none values, null values. This is the no connections there. No value put. This is the null values. So put the all values in n. This is mean none null values. Okay, students. This is the overflow handling in data structure. I think you are clearly understood. Thank you, students.